Hi guys! So today I am back with my favorites for the month of October. And before I start the video, I just want to have a special shout out to Alex and Alessi because I was actually feeling kind of down before filming but then they gave me a pep talk and so now I'm here. So if you guys want to know the beauty products, makeup, perfumes, body lotions that I have been loving this month, then please keep on watching. I'm going to start with a perfume and this one is from Benefit. It's the Bathina Just Confess You're Obsessed because I am obsessed with Bathina. And for those of you who don't know, okay, let me show you what Bathina is. This is Bathina and it is like the secret of celebrities and it became the secret of the Domingo family as well because, okay, so what it is is so wait, I don't know if you can see that, but in the cover, there's like this girl in very short shorts. But anyway, what it does is it makes your skin look really moisturized and healthy and you can't explain it exactly. But it's kind of you're glowing without being glittery, which is amazing. That's not even the best part about Bathina because the best part about Bathina is actually its smell. So when I found out that they made like a perfume version of Bathina. I have to get my hands on the perfume version because I am obsessed with the smell. I even bought a candle that smells similar to Bathina. So yeah, it's been my everyday scent. And it's just a nice, girly, unique smell. Like That's the best word to describe it. It's so unique, I can't even explain it. And I haven't been able to smell anything similar in the market. So if you are like me and my family, and you are a Bathina addict, then you really should get your hands on Bathina. Just confess, you're obsessed. It's awesome. And the next product, which has been my super duper favorite for the past few weeks, is this Laura Mercier Amber Vanilla Body Butter. And if you know me well, then you will know that my favorite smell in the world is vanilla. So of course, I had to get my hands on this when I smelled the sample in the store. Okay, and don't judge my reason for buying it, but I originally bought this body butter just for my hands because I was thinking like I was in this weird overanalyzing phase as usual and I was like, if I'm doing makeup on a client, aren't my hands so close to their face that they can smell? What if I just ate a burger? What if I just ate chicken wings or something? I don't want my hands to smell bad. I was like, I need something that smells super amazing just in case my hands become near their face. And I don't want to be known as that makeup artist that can super rock a contour but hands are so smelly so let's not hire her. No, I want to be a super amazing makeup artist with great smelling hands so let's hire her even more. So thank you Laura Mercier because this Amber Vanilla Body Butter it smells so good. I don't just use it on my hands. I use it on my entire body. For hair, so I always get this a lot. People always ask me, my friends especially, how do I keep my hair healthy? I do tend to get my hair done a lot and I even curl it myself a lot. And I always answer them that I drown my hair in argan oil. Like, I'm not kidding. I drown my hair in argan oil. And what I've discovered is this Mondi's Professional Morocco Argan Hair Mask with Keratin Protein. So this product, it's just from Watson's. And it was on sale, which is why I bought it. I think it was around 300 pesos for two tubs this size. It's huge. It lasts a lifetime. When I tried it, of course, I had my doubts. Like, oh, why would it be on sale? Maybe it sucks. But it doesn't. It like So I put it on my hair, and then I left it on. It says here you leave it on for 10 minutes, which is roughly the equivalent of three Taylor Swift songs. So I played three Taylor Swift songs. And then when I rinsed it off, I went to bed. And then the next morning, my hair was already dry. And it was so smooth. I didn't even need to style it. And yeah, I can honestly say it's made my hair a lot more healthy despite the treatment, despite the coloring. I just don't use it every day because I find that it makes my hair a little oily. Which is not entirely bad, but yeah, just if you want to keep your hair looking less greasy, then maybe just every other day or twice a week would be fine. But yeah, this product is great. It's so affordable. It's a steal. And then moving on to more 
on the makeup. This palette is from Benefit. It's called Benefit World Famous Neutrals. Inessa's Most Glamorous Nudes Ever. So, I suppose this is Inessa. Hey, sis. Okay, and okay, so this palette, I got it because I have a love for neutrals. And I'm actually venturing into the world of cream eyeshadows because I watched this tutorial of the makeup artist of what's her name? What's the name of the girl who plays Khaleesi? Oh my god. Amelia Clark. I watched this tutorial on YouTube of Amelia Clark's makeup artist doing the look she did on Amelia Clark on this blonde chick who looks exactly like Amelia Clark. And the look was so stunning and what she actually did was she was explaining how she believes in this sort of way of layering makeup that makes it just have this really beautiful effect. So after that, I was inspired to start using more cream eyeshadows which is why I super wanted this palette from Benefit because it came with two of their cream eyeshadows which I've read so many good reviews about. And okay, so this is my phone is ringing. Anyway, these aren't the full size obviously but it does carry quite a lot of product and what's nice about it is that one, the packaging is super duper cute and Two, you get this little book of tricks and tips that come with it and the mirror. And the shades here are also so nice. The best part about eyeshadow palettes that you get like this is that it kind of does the thinking for you. So you don't have to be guessing if will this shadow look good with this shadow or will it look muddy together? No. When you have palettes like these, they kind of came up with the combinations for you already. So it's kind of foolproof and you can be guaranteed that your makeup will look stunning no matter what combination of colors you use. So if you're looking for a nice neutrals palette that you could wear all day, all night, then I really recommend this Benefit World Famous Neutrals. I love it so much. If you have been an avid reader of my Ask FM, and I hope you guys have, then you will know that the Shuyumura Hard 9 Pencil, it's my favorite pencil. I would literally, if I could marry that pencil, I would. Anyway, the problem with that pencil is it's wood. And the thing about that is it's hard because you have to have it sharpened in a special way in the shape of a samurai sword. Which, of course, I can't do because I don't know how to carve anything. Shuyumura then came out with a retractable version. And... I'm just so emotional over this. So yeah, it's already shaped like a samurai sword. What more could you ask for, right? Wrong. When you twist the spoolie part, it comes with a sharpener. I kid you not, two of my best friends, Pia and Gabby, are also obsessed with this pencil. It's like, it's like, sometimes I feel like it's the glue that holds our friendship together. Anyway. The thing with this is that all you need to do, again, the Japanese just blow my mind away how to they come up with these things, is just slide it on here and it's automatically gonna sharpen it for you. I don't know how it does it. It just works. It's amazing. So the day we found out that they created this pencil, Pia, if you can see this, anyway, she messaged us in the group and said, guys, the eyebrow gods have heard our prayers and then we were like what and then she said this it comes with the sharpener all you need to do is slide it and then it was such an emotional five minutes talking about just how this is gonna revolutionize the eyebrow game so anyway as you can see i get so emotional about this pencil it's the best and i really recommend it and it has amazing staying power amazing formula it's just really my brow game changer but wait, another brow game changer of mine. Okay, so a dilemma I was facing a couple of days ago and it was really bothering me. And it's okay if you can see this flaw also because it was pissing me off. But my lights for filming, they are so bright. Like right now, I'm so blind right now because my lights are incredibly bright. So I feel like they wash off my brows on camera because in reality, these brows are borderline 
drag queen already. I'm not kidding. My brows are so thick in real life already. Even if I fill my brows already so much with the shimmer brow pencil, it already looks really strong in person. But on camera, for some reason, it used to look kind of patchy and wouldn't fill in everything. So to solve my problem, I talked to my friend Nikki, who's also a makeup artist, and she said, girl, why don't you use the K-Palette pen? It's amazing. So I tried it, and I filled in the spots in my brows with the K-Palette Real Lasting Eyebrow 24-Hour Pen. Okay, it says here, it's liquid type and helps you draw softly colored and long-lasting lines. So I drew my softly colored long-lasting lines in all the blank spaces. And I, as you can see, I'm happy with my brows now. And even if my lights are almost as bright as the sun, they are not making my brows fade and look washed out. So thank you so much. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, K-Palette. This has changed my brows for filming. My next product is... Ta -ta -da! So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. So this one, I really did the research, saved up for it, then I got it for myself, and thank God I have no regrets. It's amazing. So I'm using it right now, and I don't know, it just makes your cheekbones look like they have been carved by God himself. Do you ever feel like that? Is it just me? But anyway, this palette is so good. Like, it's such a dream to use, surprisingly. I got the shade medium because I'm tan. And it comes... Okay, so you're wondering, why is there orange? Like, that is orange. It actually counters the blue under your eye. Once you put this banana shade or your concealer over it, then what you get is this flawless, wow, I've been sleeping for 20 years look. Like, it's amazing. And then, you go in with your contour shades. These two are the ones I've been using a lot. It's cinnamon and chocolate. And then, you just get chiseled. It's, it's like magic. And surprisingly, I thought it would be so hard to blend together. But it was so easy. All you need is a damp beauty blender. And it kind of just does the work for you. Um, what people are concerned about with this kit, why some people don't like it, is because I guess it's like not the problem for me. But um, if you're on the whiter side, then the shades can tend to look kind of orange on your skin. But um, if you're like me, you love the beach, you're kind of tan, you were born that way, it's fake, I don't know then the colors will be more forgiving to you and it would actually be such a good match for you. So yeah, do your research and analyze if the shades would look good on you before you purchase this. But if you feel like it works, then it's such a great palette and you will not regret it. It makes cream contouring amazing. I'm happy I tried it and I'm happy the first time I ever tried cream contouring was with this beautiful creation by... Anastasia. My last two favorites for this month are both from MAC and okay the first one is Harmony Blush. Harmony Blush was actually recommended to me by a MAC senior makeup artist. He is the only man I trust to do my makeup because I'm so picky but um, his name's Anton Patdu. He's such an amazing makeup artist and I always ask him questions while I'm on the chair because you may ask if we ask Zari on Ask FM who does she ask but there are people I ask and they are like my makeup heroes so I was asking Anton what do you use to contour on people who are really white because it's always been my struggle contouring for like pale people thank god I've learned and thank you Anton because now I know about Harmony Blush what's nice about it is that you could also build it up so if you're on the tanner side like myself, then it would work as well. I don't know, it's so good. It's just, it's not too warm. Even if it looks kind of warm on the pad, once it's on, it's it's not too warm, it's not too muddy. It's just a nice matte contour shade. And it's hard to overdo it with this product, which is nice because it kind of builds really naturally. So if you're looking for a nice contour shade and you're on the whiter side, then I would recommend checking out MAC Harmony Blush. And so my last favorite for this month is MAC's Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. So I've read a lot of reviews and a lot of people get disappointed by this product because 
they are under the impression that it is a setting spray, meaning it would make their makeup last longer. But it's actually, like, it's kind of a finishing spray. So me personally, I don't prefer makeup when it's freshly done. I like makeup more when it's settled in my skin after a couple of hours. Maybe like after an hour and your skin kind of blends with the foundation already and everything looks seamless and more worn in and not so fake. So what MAC Fix Plus does is that every powder or product you put on your face kind of stops looking like it's just freshly put and it looks like that face when it's already gloriously melted into your skin. So that's what MAC Fix Plus does. It makes everything blend and looks less layered on. It just looks like one smooth flow. And my mom has been majorly judging me all the time because every time we leave or every time I drive for her, she sees me like drowning myself in this. But it's just really so good and you can even use it in the middle of the day. I swear to God, it's a good product. It'll also make your makeup look more professionally done. So isn't that such a great bonus? It's amazing. Just trust me. So that's it for my October favorites this month. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any more questions about any of the products that I've shown you today, you know where to find me. Just go to my Ask FM, Ask Away. Thank you guys for watching.